Hello everybody! Welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. It's almost a full moon. We got some clouds moving in over there. That's something. There's been, like I said, there's a 5% chance of rain all the way through Monday for every day. I think Monday actually is 6%. <laughs> but... So far, all of it has evaded us. It's gone all the way around, but not here. So anyway, I'm out here uh, doing my thing. I'm going to light this uh, barbecue here. Light the chimney, I mean. Come on. There we go. I think that's got it. So I'll be ready in about 15 minutes or so, and I'll bring my chick chicken leg quarters out and set them on there. In the meantime, I didn't get anything really done today. As it started off as a cold day, I just did my chores, and then I had to go to meet another neighbor who lives way down that way, and. Uh, He's got some elect electrical situations going on. So he, he was referred to me by the other people who live way up that way that I did an electrical for. Fixed that uh, day laborer mess that they did. Now this guy's got almost the same type of mess. Um, many, many years ago when he moved in, the uh, the people that set up his place put a um, electrical panel on the um, telephone pole, and I'm sorry, I'm teaching the dog not to jump up, but uh, no jumping up there, Limpy. So anyway, the. Uh, they hooked up a panel right on the telephone pole outside the house, and then they used a an RV cord to go to an indoor panel. And uh, he's got a 100 amp breaker right there for one trailer and a 100 amp breaker for another trailer, but it's not a trailer, it's a house. And uh, in the meantime, the... Uh, the, the county, I guess, and the electric company said, hey, wait a minute, you can't do that. Because he had a fire over there in an RV. And uh, um, apparently when the official showed up to put the fire out, they saw the electrical setup he had and said, no, nope, no, nope, that's not allowed. So I went over, took a look at it today, and I think... Uh, um, I, re I recommended that his best move is uh, since they've already shut his power off and won't turn it back on until he brings the electrical up to code, um, that would be very expensive. There'd be a lot of money involved in that. Uh, I said, your best bet is probably going to go off grid. Your power is already off. How are you living? And he said, well, I, I start up a generator when I need power and then shut it off when I don't. And uh, he he heats his place with propane, so he doesn't really need the uh, the generator running to to heat the place and stay warm. And that's a good thing. He's a he's an older man, and uh, he's got his uh, his things. Uh, he just lost his wife and things like that. But without getting too deep into his personal life, I told him, "Yeah, let's switch you over to off grid, and uh, just tell him." Uh, if they ask you from the county or the electric company or anything like that, say, just come and get your meter. We're not using it. We're not going to use it. I'm I'm running off a generator. That's it. Just uh, don't need it. Um, it'll be too much of a hassle. They'll really rip him a new one. He'll spend uh, tens of thousands of dollars trying to 
um, get hooked up correctly and pass all the codes and inspections and pulling permits and all that stuff, it'll be the death of him. He'll just, uh, it'll drive him crazy. So we're going to switch him over to solar. I'm going to get a hold of my friends in uh, um, Orange County, see if he's got any uh, good priced uh, solar panels. Uh, he did tell me he was getting some new ones in around this time of year, so I'll see what he's got. Then I'll contact the Life of Four companies that uh, I've been um, showing their uh, products online and see which one of them is going to give him a good deal for... Uh, Either eight 12 volt batteries at uh, say 300 amp hours, or uh, um, a couple of 24 volt batteries because uh, I'm going to put him on a 48 volt system and uh, uh, give him an all in one there and uh, give him like uh, uh, 4,000 watts of solar. So he'll be just fine. He lives in the place by himself now that, he's, that he lost his wife. So That'll be just fine. It'll give him plenty of power to uh, watch TV and leave lights on and things like that. Uh, I think he'll be happy with that. So that's the, the new job at hand. And uh, he's going to come over here tomorrow, and I'm going to show him my system and uh, what I've got set up. And I think he's going to be pretty amazed when he sees how I run my, uh, my cabin and my garage and my shops and all of that on... Uh, four batteries basically four batteries it's actually five batteries but uh i mean i'm on a 12 volt system he'll be on a 48 volt system so he'll have a much better system and i think he'll be happy and uh with some good nice new life pro four batteries and uh sun gold power all-in-one inverter 48 volt by uh, 8000 watt i think will be plenty for him uh, that way he can add on if he needs to, if he wants a little bit more power, run electric heaters and air conditioning, things like that. So that's what's been going on. The guy that I'm going to call about solar panels tomorrow is the guy I got these six 305-watt uh, panels from. And last I heard, he had some 320-watt panels he was trying to get rid of. I don't know if he has any of those left, uh, but they were only like... Uh, $149 a piece, so those probably sold out pretty quick. But he said he had some 400 and uh, I think 450, 450 watt panels coming in. They're about uh, $10 more, which isn't much. And I think I'll set this guy up with 10 panels. And that'll give him plenty to, uh, to run his house and do whatever he wants to do and keep his batteries fully charged all the time. So that's about it, everybody. Hey, look, Skyriders. Skyriders in flight. It's not afternoon delight. No, it's not. Anyway, pretty eerie-looking sit-up sit here. Haven't seen any uh, uh, UFO drones flying around here. Oh, there's a Skyrider. Started right over my head here. And he's still going. Oh. Uh, that's not contrail, I'll tell you that much, because if it is, he just turned his engines on right there. There's nothing behind him. And that one right beside him is spreading out already. And contrails don't spread out like that. They dissipate. So, that's all I have for you today, everybody. Questions and comments below. Uh, in the comment section, you'll also see that I have a link there so that you can join a membership at any level. You get extra perks, and uh, there's going to be some pretty cool perks going on, especially while I'm doing this guy's job. I might do, be, start my uh, members-only videos at that point so only the members can see what's going on. And the members might even get to see me because I didn't set up my hand all the time in front here. I'd show you my other hand, but it's holding the phone. <laughs> so anyway, I'll leave you with a little giggle on the way out. Uh, I've been wearing glasses now for the, the last 25 years or so. And uh, I wished I'd have never got started with that because uh, 
I used to only have to use one of those cheap um, drugstore magnifying glasses that you buy um, in the 125 power just to read my newspaper at lunchtime. I didn't need them any other time, just to read the newspaper, the small print in the newspaper at lunchtime. And I went to, I, I had some money at the time, and I went to a doctor, and I had my eyes checked. I said, I'm going to get me real glasses. And I asked at that point, do I wear these all the time or just to read like I do now? And then she said, no, you wear them all the time. Well, from there, my eyesight went down and down and down and down. So just like doctors, uh, they, they don't fix you because that puts them out of business. All they want to do is keep you on the line. And they're like fishermen who don't eat fish. They, they don't really want to get you into the boat fast. They just want to keep on playing with the uh, tug of war with you. Well, that's my uh, opinion, and I'm sticking to it. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is G-Bear signing off. Oh, wait a minute. Did I forget your, the joke? Yes, I did. Oh, I'm not signing off. Retract that. All right. So anyway, I decided I'm not going to wear glasses anymore. I've seen enough. <laughs> All right. That was it. Hope you got a giggle. G-Bear signing off.